override the path environment variable in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.3. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent that has curl installed on it. Not only do I have curl installed on it, but I actually have two versions of curl installed on it. So let's take a look from a job perspective to see what version of curl we have running. So I'll take a look at curl here and click into the job run that I had. And if I take a look at the echo of path here, so this was an effective echo of path, my path is home vagrant dot local bin and the rest of the path. And we can also see from a curl version perspective, I'm running curl 7.61.1. Now, when I did the installation of curl, that was the latest version of curl that was available to me through the package manager. If we go over and take a look at the curl website, we can see that the latest version of curl at the time of recording is 8.2.1. So there's a very big difference between 7.61 and 8.2.1. So how do we reconcile this and make sure that the curl that I use within my job is actually the 8.2.1? Let's go over and take a look at the agent and see what version of curl we see just from the command line. So I'll open up a shell, and from here, if I do an echo path, we'll see that I have a little bit different path. I've got home Linux brew prepended to the rest that we saw over in the job. So if I do curl here, we can see that I've got access to 8.2.1. Now, right now, I am logged in as Vagrant. That's the user. So if I type in, who am I? I am Vagrant. But here's the twist. If I go back over and take a look at the configuration of my agent, so I go to Agent, go to Configure, take a look at my credentials, I'm using a Vagrant credential as well. I'm actually using the exact same credentials, logging into the shell as I am within the credentials within the controller. So what's the difference here? So what's happening is the path is being constructed differently when I log in interactively within the shell versus when I log in through the credential from within the Jenkins controller. There are a handful of different ways that you can solve for this, but let's set up the assumption that I only want to apply this to this one agent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in the configuration page for the agent. I'm going to go down to environment variables, and I'm going to add a new environment variable. But before we do that, let's take a look at the help for the environment variables. The key part here is we don't want to just use path. We don't want to override the full path. Jenkins also supports a special syntax base plus extra, which allows you to add multiple key pair values, which will be prepended to an existing environment variable. What I'm wanting to do now is I'm wanting to prepend the homebrew version of curl, which lives inside of home Linux brew. So I'll want to take both of these directory structures here and prepend it to the existing path that's being reconciled as the agent is connected. If we take a look at the example that's here as well, if you have a machine that has path equals user bin, if you wanted to put local bin in front of it, you would just give it path plus local underscore bin. And then once it resolves, you'll see that prepended in front of user bin. So let's do that for ourselves. So I'm going to click on add. I'm going to type path plus, and I'm going to say homebrew bin, because when I installed the 821 version of curl, it was installed through homebrew. Let's go back over to the shell. I'm just going to go ahead and copy what homebrew added in, and we'll paste that in all in one line here. Notice there are two sections to this. There's a slash bin and there's also a slash s bin. Since I'm on a Linux-based agent, I'm just going to make sure it's concatenated with the colon. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now, before we run the job one more time, let's go ahead and review the output from the previous run. We can see here the path started with home vagrant and the version of curl was 761.1. Let's go ahead and run the job one more time. And if we take a look at the output of number two, we can see the path now has prepended what we just added in. And we can also see that curl is running the version that we want at 8.2.1. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.